so typically y'all know I don't talk money but um, I'm coming back just to show you guys a little bit on market structure and how it could have played out um, at the lot sizes that my cousin trades at um, so I'm gonna recap this DAX trade today so today's video um, is really just to show you guys that market structure actually does like long-term play out um, I did a video on German 30 about six months ago my cousin this is like his main money maker it's an index that is very volatile um, however he's figured out a way to make it work uh, I don't trade it as much anymore and when I do it's very 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 low lot sizes but I remember doing this video and somebody came onto my video and commented oh price will never go that low like it'll never happen DAX doesn't respect like you know market structure and blah 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 so you know I was still new and learning it um, but what I knew that this person didn't know is that no matter what you trade market structure is always a thing it is always a thing like it doesn't matter um, my mentor always talks about like you could trade Nike stock you could trade Apple stock you could trade like whatever at the end of the day market structure is market structure so here I've got the markup that I did this was back on August 11th um, I predicted or I projected let me not say predicted so I'm definitely not a psychic <laughs> um, but I projected um, that DAX would go down to 11.6. And I said, at worst case, you know, that was the 38.2 FIB level. That's a, a, you know, when I talk about like market structure, I always say I at least trade to the 38.2. And then after that, I'm looking for signals of continuation because 38.2, 50% and 61.8 are the, the typical levels that we see reaction. And so this was August. It took a little bit to play out and it didn't play out exactly how I thought, which is why I say I don't trade off of FIB levels or just levels. I have to get confirmation that something is gonna happen, right? I have to get confirmation that whatever I'm thinking um, is gonna happen. So that's a, a bearish move, a trend line break. You know, I would have been waiting for all of that. So I'm just gonna play this so we can see how it played out. So you see, it didn't go I thought it was coming like straight down right away, but instead it went between these two areas of support and resistance first. So I would have had a trend line across here and waited for that break and that retest and then would have been looking to sell. So we did get a little bit of sell off here and then we got another retracement. And then we got the big sale that I was looking for and look exactly where price came before it started to go back up. So it came to the area that I thought it was going to come. It came m m a couple months later. <laughs> I'm late in doing this video, but August 11th, I was looking for price to come back down to 11.5 on German 30. And um, it took two extra months before it did. Uh, but I mean, the way German 30 moves and the way that profit adds up, if anybody took this setup, like I would have been looking, this is what I would have, would have been looking for. I would have been looking for that break below this level and then it came back up and retested. This would have been the entry right here where my mouse is, this crosshair. This would have been the entry and then I would have held the position. And then look, like y'all, oh my God, I'm sorry. I like, I geek out over stuff like this. I'm just looking at the levels that we drew back in August, right? These are the levels we drew in August. We identified long-term resistance, identified another long-term resistance, and then hourly resistance. So price broke through the long-term resistance, came back up, retested, then broke through the hourly resistance and came back up and retested. Like, even if I didn't get in here, there was an opportunity to take the sale here. And that still would have been a great payday. I don't know how to count pips on German 30. Like I said, this is not what I trade. Um, I just know structure. Structure is the same. No matter what you trade, structure is the same. So look, look, like after it hit that extension or that retracement level, sorry, it, it turned around. So don't tell me market structure is not like German 30 don't respect market structure. Like, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Like, 
It does. Um, I would just say, do not trade blindly. Don't trade just off of FIB levels. I did that when I got started and I blew uh, uh, more than a couple dollars trying to do it. Always wait for confirmation. Wait for proof that, you know, the, the trend is going to go the way that you project it to go, right? So, yeah, German 30, German 30. Let me go pull it up on the chart. Hold on. Um, the extension based on the pullback. Oh, so look at that. Look at this. Man, okay. Y'all can't tell me market structure ain't a thing. And for those of you who are trying to cut corners, don't do it. I'm telling you, it's best if you just invest the time and learn the skill. Like, I know, like, everybody want to make money now, but it's like, come on, dude. Just invest the time. Invest the time right now, and you will not be sorry later. I guarantee you. Okay, so I'm trying to see. Let's see. So that was the 61.8 for that FIB level. So that was that was right. So based off of this, I can see German 30. The extension is here for the take profit. Because look, let me get my my brush. Okay, so what I'm looking at, I drew from the swing low to the swing high, which is here. So low to high, right? And then we had a pullback to the 61.8 level. And what I always mention in my videos is that color to color, this is why I have my FIB color coded because the retracement levels are positive, the extensions are negative, right? And so because this pulled back to the 61.8, if I was to have entered here, and that's a long time to hold the trade, but I would have been looking for buys all the way up until the extension. So I think this has a little bit more room to go before it's done, um, but I think eventually it will hit this extension before you see another correction. So my chart might look a little crazy to you, but um, take a look at some other videos <laughs> that I do. And I'm telling y'all that book, I'll, put, I'll post a picture of it. Please go buy it. Please go buy it. Uh, market structure is everything. Like when you can see the big picture, you could set yourself up for some nice moves and to catch a whole lot of pips. Um, so you're not jumping in and out of the market, in and out of the market, right? So um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. I will catch you on the next video. And like I said, I will be back sooner than you think. I'm sorry it took me so long to post this. Um, I've been wanting to do it for a while. Uh, I just, um, yeah, y'all know. So anyway, uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do so. If you're looking to see more analysis and um, understanding market structure and Elliott Wave just a little bit deeper, um, I post those, I try to post those pretty regularly. And then if you're not already a part of our online community at the Forex Trade Room on Facebook, make sure you click the link below. Um, it is no cost and just answer the questions uh, in order to get approved to enter the group. I appreciate you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.